hi guys good afternoon and welcome to another vlog i don't know why i'm doing like a mirror video to show you guys but this is outfit of the day ignore the laundry in the background i just got back to abuja and we need to pack our stuff to get to the laundry but right now i'm going out i'm going to take some stuff to the leather spa these are my shoes i have like about three pairs of shoes in here and my phone is inside the paper bag so i'm taking them to the leather spa and i'm also going to school outfitters to buy um uniform for nur apparently the one he has is short for him right now he is eight years old and he's grown taller and um i am going to go to the office I have a few things to do. I'm also going to go buy a new battery for my Sony ZV-1. It just stopped working. I'm using my Canon G7X. As you can see, it's it's been through a lot. It's been through hell. It's been through everything. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm not sure, but I have a lot more on my plate than that. I was supposed to go to site, but I couldn't make it. So I just sent my staff to go and handle whatever is going on on site. But um, he'll come back to the office my assistant and update me um yeah let's get going i will bring you guys along hopefully if i don't forget but yeah let's go my car is filthy but that is a story for another day Here I have my purse and I have my laptop and the Sony camera I want to be fixed. So um yeah. So we're painting our house and I came up and I was like, where's my car? I have the key with me. So um the painter guy told me that they parked it by the side and I had to come to the side and I saw my car then I was like relieved because I didn't know where my car went. I was scared for a bit, but I'm okay now. Um, yeah, let's get going. I need to start the car. It's a bit hot. Not a bit. It's very, very hot. Um, yeah, let's get going. So this is my to-do list. Um, I think I'm going to start with... I'm going to just group them into groups and do whatever is closer to one another first then I'll do the rest at the end of the day so I couldn't survive the filth I packed trash in this bag that I found now I think the car is a bit reasonable I'll just keep packing the trash out of the car so that okay I think it's better it just needs like proper cleaning to clean all the dust and everything but yeah I don't know but I will see you guys when we get there by the way I had to pin my hijab right here it's silk and it keeps falling off my head I don't know I've put a, a cap underneath but it's still falling yeah let's get going I think I'm ready and everything is sorted in the car it just gives me irks that my car is filthy but yeah let's get going so um, I've made it to my first stop which is tulip body care I'm going to go get some skincare stuff. I'm breaking out. I don't know if you can see because I have makeup on right now. But I've been breaking out. It's hormonal acne. That's why I wanted to see my doctor. But I'm going to go inside right now and find something with salicylic acid and niacinamide. And um, that's what I'm going to use. That's what works for me. And then that's what I'm going to go find. <laughs> So 
so um, I just got out of Tulip and I got a bunch of random things including bio oil I got the small one and I spent about 52,300 I have some stuff in here I'll show you guys when I get home because there's some random people looking at me so the random person looking at me has gone and this is what I got I got this uh, Mary and May kit travel kit I don't know why I got it but I saw that it has a hyaluronic acid cleanser it has it's just a trouble kit it has niacinamide and so many other things that I went in looking for so I bought it and um, the salicylic acid stuff that I was looking for I got a 2% salicylic acid serum I got a salicylic acid foaming clay cleanser and then I also got a salicylic acid lotion for my face and I also bought bio oil this is for my stretch marks I have quite a few stretch marks on my legs so um I want to use it for that um yeah that's everything I got I'll be on my way it's close to the leather spa and the Austin 7070 where I want to get the batteries so I'll just drive there and I should be there in a minute I think my husband is calling me. He's been calling me. Hello? Baby. I'm not sure if you have any pictures of Aduba, but I'm not sure if you have any pictures of Aduba. Hold on. So, we are renovating our house in Kano, and he's just been calling me all over. He's sending me pictures of like toilet seats and stuff. So, I'm trying to download them. I don't have internet connection, I don't have Wi Fi in my car. So um, I'll respond to him and then he'll see. It's just a lot. I don't even understand this. He's called me like 10 times because of that. And he also asked me to buy him like skincare. He has this skincare that was recommended for him by Raw Beauty Bar. And he lost them when he went to Pakistan. He just left them in the bathroom in the hotel. And he couldn't find a similar one. So now that he's back to Abuja, he's been trying to get it. And I'm looking for it at Tulip. They said they have it, but they'd have to look for it. And I don't have time to wait, so I'm leaving. Um, yeah, that's that. I will see you guys when we get to the CVS Plaza or the Austin 1770. We'll see how that goes. So I have made it to the CVS Plaza first to go to the leather spa. These are the shoes I'm taking up there. I'll go up there and take it to them. Then I'll make my way to go find Austin 1770. Apparently they have moved i went to the one on top of four guys and they are no longer there so um i will have to go find them wherever they move to who am i calling so i'll go find them wherever they move to and then i'll figure it out i'll see you guys when i get there i'm inside an elevator going up i hate entering elevators in nigeria but Inshallah, this will not have a problem. I'm having a panic attack. It's dark. I'm scared. My heart is pounding. Okay. I made it out fine. So now I have to find the level spot. Okay, I think it's this place. No. I think I found it. If you guys know me, you know I've won the hell out of this shoot. Like all the time, every event, everything. So I found a little spa and they're going to help me fix it. Hopefully they have the gold. And then this one, it's dead. That one too. I just want to give it a try and see if it will be possible to get back to normal. Fingers crossed. Let's see. I the little spa. I saw the bookstore and I just had to come in. I have a crazy obsession with buying books that I barely ever read. I'll find something that works for me today. I don't know. So I found this book. I wanted to buy it on Instagram, but I didn't. So now that I've seen it here, I'll buy it. I got two books and it's raining. Proper, proper raining. 
so the minute I walked out it started raining I had to sprint in the rain to get back to the car but yeah it is what it is I am all wet like my shoulders as you can see my dress like all over I'm wet but it is what it is you live once that's why I made a run for it right now I'm going to go to Austin 7070 then I'll go to school outfitters the minute I got to Austin 7070 I think it stopped raining I think I can go out in this weather to the Austin 770 shop and apparently it's my charger that's spoiled so they're charging my battery if it works I just need to buy a new charger I don't need to replace the camera I don't need to replace the battery or the memory card I'm going to wait for about 20 minutes to see if the battery charges but fingers crossed and hopefully it works I've tried the battery charged it's not working it's still giving me the same problem I don't know Maybe I'll just keep it on myself for decoration. So apparently my camera cannot be fixed. I don't know what the problem is because they have tried they have tried the charging the battery. They don't have new batteries, so it's just gonna be there for decoration until I travel and take it to Sony. But yeah, it is what it is. So um I'm annoyed. That my camera hasn't been fixed so i made a stop at frosty pops i'm going to buy boba at least to feel better but i don't want to go inside so i am out i'm waiting for them to make the boba and then bring it to me in the car i don't know i think i'll just not go to the mtn office today i'll go directly to the office right now drop hassan's phone get the updates about the project that we're doing and then head on to school outfitters because Noor doesn't have a uniform. The one he has is too short. So I'll just go there, buy the uniform and then go back home. I'm so tired and exhausted. I've done a lot today. I feel like I've done so much. So um, yeah, I'll bring you guys along and we'll see how the day goes. So I got the boba. They've created this new can thing where the boba comes in a can and i have my map set to um school outfitters i'm driving there right now i'm in a little bit of traffic but yeah i'll get there on time hopefully so i just got the uniform and yeah, I think I'm gonna go home. I think I'm going home. I'm so tired and exhausted. I haven't had lunch. All that I've had today is this boba that I bought. So I'll go home and I'll bring you guys along. I feel like Nigerians are not used to people vlogging because I'm packed here and everybody is literally just looking at me. Like they have seen a ghost or something. All their eyes are on me. I don't even know why. I don't get it. But I don't care. So, um, it's 5.42 right now. I've spent the whole day running errands. I'm going to go home. I'm thinking about the moi moi that I told my cook to make. I'm so excited about the moi moi. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just got back home and I want to rest and then I'll eat then I will unpack the stuff I got I got these two books I don't know if I've shown you guys in the bookstore but this is you can't see it okay I think you can see it like this 
this is lives and weddings and it's by kevin kwan i really wanted to read the book and i randomly found it at the bookstore then i also got this book counterfeit i'm i think i have this book i'm not sure i don't have it but if i do have it i'll give it to my sister so i will put them up there with the rest of the books that i haven't read this is my tbr list this shelf i just put books that i am going to read eventually i read like two of them but i haven't finished reading all of them so i will put these up there and then i have my main shelf downstairs i'm a hoarder i have over 300 books and i'm so proud of that but yeah i think i have done enough vlogging for today so thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye.